Day one of isolation. Certainly the weather for it. It's been like this pretty much in Spain on the way up. A bit of snow, then rain. France was alright but it's freezing cold. So a little concern we've got right now is how long our LPG will last. Uh, at the moment, if we're really careful, um, it's about a quarter of a bottle a day. Um, if it's cold and we need the heating on, it's about a third of a bottle a day. Uh, we've got two bottles so we are going to run out of heating and cooking fuel uh, before we're allowed to go out and get some more. Um, so yeah, I ordered some bits on the way up. So we've got a diesel heater and a B2B and a few other bits and bobs as well that are arriving where we're going to be parked up during quarantine. Probably be there as well during lockdown. I'm sure most of you can guess where we are anyway. It won't come as a shock to you. Um, but yeah, we've basically got um, some upgrades to do over the next few days there was uh, a few parcels waiting for us here when we got here so we've got some upgrades to do which should make our life a little bit easier while we're here hopefully so we're down a bit low on the old power and the weather's a bit pants and everything outside so blue yeti ac 200 to the rescue um 2000 watt hour battery bank with a two kilowatt inverter so this is going to be easy what we're going to use it for mainly is um well somebody likes coffee Co coffee anybody oh it's cooper cooper it likes coffee cooper. must yeah. be so do you want to put your coffee machine on making mm. it work now making it work for its money <laughs> yeah. now so it's obviously pulling out more power than it was a few seconds ago state of charge has dropped down to 98 percent And we can see all the battery cell info on there as well. Nerd. Yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, it's pulling 464 watts. That jumped up to 1.5 kilowatts then. Are you ready? Yep, go on then. 1.5 was when the coffee machine stopped flashing. Right, okay, so yeah, 1.5 is drawing now, so 1500 watts. It's quite a lot. Um, it is charging the van at the same time as well. So uh, we're currently getting a charge of 200 watts from it. So we can charge the batteries, 16 amps. That's just the built-in one. I have a feeling I'm going to lose a seat for a while. Uh, we are going to lose a seat for a while, yeah. Because I'm hoping that this thing is going to keep us powered up. Yeah, we'll to work out how many coffees it will provide. It's already down to 92%. So that's dropped eight percent with one coffee. <laughs> and we got a red light. Oh, you're out of water. I'm out of water. Yeah. There was just enough for a coffee in there anyway. Yeah. Turn it off quick. Turn it off so we don't drop any more power. Yeah. So hopefully that Blue Yeti AC200 is going to keep us powered for the next two days. Um, I've basically pulled the lead off the back of the inverter, um, and this lead then goes over to our auto switch over which then powers the rest of the van so this is essentially like we're on hookup so i know a lot of you asked how do you um use the power oaks and the beauties as if you're on hookup and that's it i just pull the lead out the back of the inverter plug it in there and that gives us like as if we're on hookup for the rest of the, the time we're in use so that's a bit disappointing it means that this thing probably won't last as long as i'd have hoped but still an excellent bit of kit i'll do a full review on it um coming up as well but i just thought i'd explain it for the time being <laughs> So today we are installing this. Um, it's a DC to DC charger or B2B battery to battery charger, whatever you want to call it. Running the engine just to uh, provide a bit of heat and power. It's a bit muddy, it's a bit snowy. Where's Coop? Well, he's loving it though. So if we connect to the BMV, that'll say the amps going through there. So there we go, so that was what I was hoping for. Um, with the two B2Bs now working on there, we're getting 46 amps of charge. Well impressed with that. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. I wanted the power from the Victron charger and the built-in charger as well that the van came with. And both of those combined gives a really high rate of charge. Having the ability to get up to 100%. From 50%. Is amazing. Right now it's minus one outside. It's freezing fog and uh, we've just got back from europe so we're in uh, quarantine isolation for 10 days 
and at the moment our Truma gas boiler that we've got installed in our Motoma standard is using so much gas that we're going to run out of gas before we can go out and get some more gas. We're adding a diesel heater! Yay! Oh, and to make things worse as well, um, I thought I had some hole cutters and I haven't. So that's it all finished off, all neatened up now so the cabling's done on the inside. That little tea piece that goes into the garage so we get nice um, heat in the garage now which obviously means that there'll be heat that then comes up through and into the beds so the pipe then comes through all the way through underneath here and i've rerouted it now so we get warm air through that one there and then warm air through the one on the corner there so overall it's a nice neat installation well out of the way in a part of the van really that wasn't being used anyway so we... that's our little setup going on it's got the van and then the little awning there the fire pit and everything i think um, i'm gonna surprise john with something because we've run out of bread we've been out of bread we've got wraps and i've got some part baked baguettes but i've got plans for them so i can't do much with them um i just fancy something toasty so uh, I'm going to ramp up my two ingredient dough thing. And it's not mine, it's not mine. Obviously it's things stolen off the internet. Stolen, I tell you. Um, but I like to call it mine because I use it all the time and it's wonderful. So I'm going to use the two ingredient dough thing. I'm gonna make us some cinnamon and raisin bagels and I'm gonna toast them and I'm gonna put some lovely Spanish butter on and that's gonna be us for our breakfast. I'm going to put in a touch of vanilla essence and I'm going to put in obviously cinnamon and soaked sultanas because I haven't got raisins but don't tell John that because he'll just think it tastes the same anyway so that's fine so that's going to be our um, cinnamon and raisin bagels I'm still working my way through the uh, Spanish Greek yogurt thankfully that's still got till the 21st on long live long life food hey um, so I'm just going to do the flour equivalent of two of these tubs, which so each one of these is 125 grams. So I'm going to do 250 grams of flour, so it matchy matches. Um, I'm using all-purpose flour plus a bit of bicarbonate of soda for, uh, soda for the rise, but you can use self-raising flour. It's just that mine's buried right in the back of the cupboard, and I'm well lazy. 250 grams of flour in the bowl. Don't even measure cinnamon just cinnamon just goes in a little bit of vanilla the vanilla Mad madagascan vanilla stuff i literally put maybe five or six drops in there so there's not a lot sugar the bicarbonate of soda pre-soaked sultana so they're nice and juicy uh, spanish greek yogurt i literally mix it all up it comes up into a dough really really quickly so you just kind of mix it up with a fork to save your hands from getting really messy um into a ball um <clears throat> and then once you've got the ball of dough you just need to give it a good knead not as much as you would do with bread it's just that it goes less sticky and more elastic now i've made it into a ball of quite elastic dough which i'm very impressed with so far i'm going to cut it into four pieces this will do us four bagels we're going to eat them all at the same time because we are fat buggers and then i'm going to roll each one out into a sausage and then turn it into a um into a circle and pinch the ends together to make your standard bagel shape so I've just done a little bit of an egg wash on the top of the bagels that will uh, make them nice and shiny and it'll stop them rising too much because you don't want them to rise too much because you'll get uh, that lovely chewy doughy texture that you get in a bagel. Now when I was in the house what I would have done instead is I would have put a massive pan of water on the boil like my big stock pot with some bicarbonate of soda in and floated them in there so you drop them in the pan um, let them have a bit of a soak they kind of start floating to the top as soon as they float to the top you pick them out again probably no more than 30 seconds and put them on some kitchen towel to drain off um, that kind of gives them the rise so the warm water makes them rise a little bit and then the bicarb stops them from rising anymore so it's a great way to uh, to do it to get that lovely chewy doughy texture that you need at the bottom I've made these before and I've made them vegan um, it's so easy to do it in a vegan manner literally you just swap out the Greek yogurt for the vegan Greek style yogurt it works brilliantly in this two ingredient dough it's like there's no difference at all apart from maybe you need to put in a little bit of extra flour because it tends to be a bit more runny than the standard Greek yogurt um, and of course you wouldn't do the egg wash you just do the bicarb dip 
and that means that you'd, uh, you'd make them completely vegan. We've done the pretzels that way before and they are so tasty. I'm going to pop my oven on and let that heat up a little bit and it won't take too long because it's the size of a postage stamp. Um, I'm going to put them in for about 10 minutes I think to start off with. I really don't know what to do with, with the oven. Um, I have tried doing these in a frying pan before and they tend to overcook on the outside before they cook properly on the inside. So I'd love to do it as a frying pan meal. Maybe I'll try and make some smaller ones at another time and see if I can get away with that. Well, let's have a check on these things. Ooh. Look at them. So they're lovely looking. A little bit charred. I mean, that's that silly oven of mine. So they are cooked nicely. Browned on the bottom. I just have to let them cool just for a little bit um, because you know it's, it's slicing hot bread is quite difficult so I'm going to let them cool for a bit and then I'm going to um, slice them in half and then I'll have to do half at a time and then just grill the insides. Oh, well, there's a little hole. A little hole, so I've made... <laughs> it's a bagel a, muffin. Some of these haven't quite so much but it'll do, mm. it'll do. So we need to what, let them rest now and then we can toast them in a bit and then put butter on. No, they're just going to go, I'm going to put those straight in and toast them in a second. Because if I do it while they're still warm, because they're lovely and crispy on the outside. So I don't need to re-toast the outside then. We just need to toast the bit where we put in luscious, what was it, Spanish butter. Spanish mantequilla. Ooh. Ooh. What do you think then? Look at that. No, it's all juicy and crispy and... Mm. Mm. I'd probably put more cinnamon in. Oh, okay. And I put a lot in. And then when I was kneading it, I put extra in. So even more then? So I put even more cinnamon in. Mm. There we go, folks. Follow, um, the follow the instructions again and put more cinnamon in. More cinnamon! Cool. But these are brilliant. fire pit is called a solo stove ranger and it's a gasifier so air come through the bottom get passed through the wall which means it can supply air both from the bottom holes and around the top and I've built a little start a little pile in there got some more chopped up and some more logs around there that we can just chuck in easy to light and no matter what you throw in there, once you put the gasifier ring on, it reduces the amount of smoke that comes out of it. And by less smoke, it's a comfortable sort of uh, fire pit to sit around. And you obviously don't get those spitting logs, though every time a log cracks and spits out, you don't get that kind of problem either. I'll put all the links, as usual, down below in the description, so you can have a shifty, see what you think. So it's a gazebo, we've got four sides for it, but we're only using two because the wind usually comes in that direction. Uh, we sit in the corner, it roughly gives us more heat or sit to the back um, to get away from the wind. Mandy's made this for now to see if you can try and do a bit of cooking on it or at least boil a kettle or something. Uh, weighted it down with that, make sure it works. And if that works, we might buy something a bit more substantial. Um, but yeah, this is our setup. I think it's absolutely brilliant. It's just at the back of the van. Uh, the engine's running on the van because uh, we're low on power. So now with the B2B, we can uh, use the van's engine to uh, generate the power for us. So that's absolutely brilliant. Let's get back and get that fire burning a little bit better. Look at that though. Little 
rings that you can see around the edge there. That's what I mean by gasifying. So it's pulling the air up from the bottom from those rings and then basically causing the fire inside just to burn more efficiently. Oh, that is amazing. It does kind of feel like we're at a little meet up there. So we're just going to pretend that you're all around us. Mm. Talk amongst yourselves. Yep, I was going to say we've got cervezas. Still cervezas, actually. So. Yes. Actual, <laughs> actual San Miguel yeah. from Spain. Yeah, cervezas. So cheers. Mm. Cheers, baby. Um, and yes couple of comments from people I uh, don't know if you if you do follow us on Instagram you've probably seen that we've had this fire pit and this setup and everything for a few days now uh, we concentrated mainly on getting the van warm and sorting the power out and then the next one was the little outside area wasn't it Aye. because being yeah. in there especially with Coop bless yeah. him all the time is um is not particularly good no so yeah I mean, for the first two days we arrived back into the UK, it pissed it down solid. So there was no chance of doing anything. Actually, it was. It rained so hard that it sounded like someone was throwing gravel at the side of the van. And then after that, it snowed so hard, yeah. it froze up all the puddles. Yeah. Which was ridiculous. So we were literally just going outside to uh, let Coopy out. Yeah, not a lot else. And then back in again. So he got a little bit stir crazy. You know about the diesel heater by now uh, we've made changes to our electric system as well to make winter van life a bit easier and um, because um, there's just very 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 little solar on sunny days and obviously um, bugger all when it rains and snows yeah and obviously anybody else who's doing winter van life will know and feel yes. pain yeah um, but definitely recommend a, um, a bigger b2b yeah. if you've not already got one yeah that saves us so every day we are down about a quarter of our um, electric supplies and we just fire the engine up for an hour or so and then we're back up again. Which also saves us a little bit of um, diesel uh, yeah. diesel because we've not got the diesel heater running. Yeah, we use uh, the engine We just use the engine and we have the fan on number two and it yeah. gets like a proper toasty box in there, doesn't it's it? It's nice, brilliant. It? So, um, yeah, and we're keeping the blinds closed a lot to try and retain the heat. Yep. Yeah. Anything we can, really, just to keep us going. Yeah, and it's weird because, I mean, we're, we're used to conserving, well, everything, really, water, gas and whatever. But then it's like, right, I'm going to do some cooking. Let's turn all the heating off and we'll <laughs> let the cooking heat heat up the van for a bit. So it's like, only make sure you've got one heat source on in the van at yeah. a time kind of thing. Save been, all resources. We're having fun anyway, even if there's nothing else. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting, been a challenge, is not it? Yeah, I like it. I mean, there were... Um, there were a couple of really kind of worrying points, obviously. Uh, you never want to run out of heating when you can't get any more, and you never want to run out of power when you can't get any more. So um, for a couple of days until it was the right weather to install the diesel heater and the extra um, B2B, um, we did worry a little. Yeah, it did stop us sleeping well, to be honest with you, yeah. because we were concerned about about Everything. what we were going to do, because the, the B2B that was installed the standard on the van Oh, it's dire. It's pretty enough. It does yeah. the job when we're driving down the road to keep the batteries topped up. Yeah, to keep them topped up, it's all right, but for everything else, no. And the gas, our gas consumption was almost a quarter of a bottle a day um, over a 24-hour period or thereabouts, maybe about 30 hours, about a quarter of a bottle. And that was even with turning it off Yeah. at times to try and save it and then getting blankets on the sofa yeah. and whatnot and uh, making sure it was turned right down at night. We had it set to like 11 degrees, so when it got really cold it came on and not really for our benefit but no, more for coop, coop at yeah. the front so well now i think we're settled in for the long haul however long it may be i think i have a fun day today seems like we've uh this is just a gap between the rain um it's been coming down all morning so much so this morning we're having a nice lighting because i mean what else are you going to do in isolation and uh it stopped raining and we're like quick 
we could be out for a wee <laughs> so we didn't get soaking wet through that's one of the bonuses about being somewhere with the with no other people is um you can let the dog out in your jimmies and nobody bats an eyelid So uh, it's chores day, so uh, well obviously John's concentrating a lot. Working hard or hardly working, I don't know. <laughs> See, not even noticing them right out the window. So anyway, John's filling up the water. Oh look, he's noticed. Hi. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to be there on its own, is it? No, it's a shame that obviously it didn't stay in the ground. Mm. I, mean, I think the table's all right that's just come apart a little bit yeah. so hopefully we've saved the canopy all in all yeah not bad not it's bad probably the best thing just to take the canopy off last night yeah and save that and then at least that didn't get blown away any worse but when we came out it was on the floor with the canopy on and everything wasn't it so uh, yeah. it was a bit bad so when yeah we came out, when we came out to check the just first time we then, came out, it was, it was fine. just having a bit of a flappy flappy. I mean, you can see how much the wind's got up now. Yeah, I think it's it one gust of wind must have just caught it. Yeah. And yes, when you've all mentioned about cooking on this, yes, we do have um, a Dutch oven for it. Ten days. Ten days. Yeah, yeah, it's actually been nice not going anywhere. I've done lots of reading. Ups and downs as well. We've had obviously the problems of worrying about heating, the problems about worrying about the electric, and then the. Um, I want to use a different word. I'm not going to say the epic word. I'm going to use euphoric. Oh, okay. Euphoric. Why were you euphoric then? Because we were euphoric with the 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 whole thing of like we can just turn the key on the van, turn the engine, and we've got power whenever we want. And um, I don't wish to bring the positivity of our channel down. Please don't type anything about um, any comment at all about running your engine for ages. It's a diesel engine. It's meant to do it. So let's just all be positive, thank you. So then we had the um, diesel heater. Yes. Which um, is absolutely fantastic, providing loads of heat and everything like that. And it's really nice heat as well yeah. compared to the other one. It's weird because I think that it's drier heat. It drives undies quicker in the van and it seems to heat the van yeah. up a lot quicker. If so. you've not followed so far, we've got a diesel heater video, so that'll be up there. Um, and um, the battery to battery install video will be coming out on Tuesday. But we've gone from having worries mm -hmm. to having no worries. Um, diesel, red diesel, we can get here. So uh, we can fill the heater up to the heart's consent for red diesel. That's fine. Anyway, one little thing. I'm going to take my hat off for this one. Um, John did a little Instagram post about the... And there will be something on here. Um, yeah, you will have seen it. You will have seen it already. Um, about the bagels that yeah. I've made, which are wonderful. And I must say, they we reheated them the next day because it was too, it's too much for us yeah we reheated them the next day and they were really really tasty proper yep, still yummy. as nice um they are um this two ingredient dough has been around for ages i have not invented it um and it is picked up by lots and lots of diet places like weight watchers for instance where um it's just like a couple of points to make this dough it's a special so special diet is, friendly stuff yeah isn't it, it is diet friendly it is supposed to be better for you than using regular dough with all the yeast and, and and stuff like that so everybody that said oh i can't believe you posted this because stop teasing i'm on me, a, yeah stop teasing me i've just started my diet 
if you're doing Weight Watchers or whatever, have a look into it. Just have a Google of two ingredient dough and see what the benefits are from it because it is way healthier than normal bread. Or if you're like me, it means you can have twice as much for the same calorific count. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but I've got a few ideas coming about using that dough just because it is so easy to just put equal amounts of flour and Greek yogurt in a bowl to make a dough and then you can do anything with it. Anything, she says. Dutch oven, I'm thinking. What can we cook on the Dutch oven from the two ingredient dough, Mandy? Watch this space. But for now, thanks for watching. Yes. Hope you've um, had a okay week, bearable week, happy In week. Yeah. And um, hope you got past Blue Monday with no oh, problems. Yeah. We did the opposite way. We did anti Blue Monday and made sure we were incredibly happy on Monday. I'm always quite happy. Yeah. There's no point being anything else, really, is there? No, you could be bugger. Right, anyway. Yeah, take care, guys. Take care, and we'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.